Playing video games, or gaming, is a leisure activity that has become integrated into the daily routines of a majority of Canadian households. Statistics show that 58% of Canadians play video games, and 61% of Canadian households have at least one video game console. While statistical evidence draws attention to the prevalence of gaming in Canada, less is known about gaming as a practice. Unfortunately, while the majority of Canadians play video games, research suggests that video game communities are often overtly and violently homophobic and transphobic. Wow, that is an extremely big accusation to label an entire group of people, but I'm sure, sir, that you have your evidence. I'm sure you do. What are these researchers? But you know what? I'm going to make several predictions, people. I'm going to predict that he never once tells us who these uh, researchers are. He never pulls out any names or statistics, apart from just then, which only says how many people play games in Canada. He will be using anecdotal evidence from people who probably aren't actually gamers, because, as you'll soon see, the level of knowledge here that we're looking at is absolutely poor. And... The other one is that he will not show us the other side. Because, you know, this guy's an academic. He's doing an academic debate here. In, he has an argument. And his argument is, what are the effects of gaming on the community? Yeah. As we sh but, as we shall soon see, it's decidedly one-sided. I can't play with a random group of people in any first-person shooter without hearing things like, that's really gay, or that person's being gay, um, that strategy is gay. Well, I'm sorry Catherine, my dear, but the fact remains is people will say what they want online and if you don't like it, mute them. You don't have to play the whole game with people saying things on the microphone all the way over. If it ruins your experience, turn it off or don't play those games, but it's, it's patently obvious that you don't play first person shooter games or you play only Call of Duty and Battlefield which are full of narcissistic 14 year olds oh but wait you're kind of are for a narcissistic 14 year old in a way because you refuse to see any other way other than the fact that games are somehow homophobic because they're using the word gay which they're not even using it in a homophobic context you see i used to get pissed off with people using gay in that way but as you've seen gay has so many stupid meanings and contexts. It can mean happy, it can mean homo homosexual, and now it can mean that's stupid. Okay, context is important, but you wouldn't know what context means if it slapped you across the face, but you know, oh well. Deal with it. You're supposed to be a gamer, you're supposed to be an adult, you know how to meet people. Do it! There's the option, every game has it as a multiplayer. I avoid games with strangers and sometimes even people that I know. And that's because I know how much homophobia there is. I know how much uh, really gendered, violent language there is. I'm sorry, but you know how much homophobia there is in Canada? Did you just basically accuse the whole of Canada and the whole of your friendship circle, every single one of them, of being homophobic and violent gen gender-wise? I can't believe you have the audacity to say such bigotry. I'm sorry, it's reverse bigotry here. I'd hate to be you, and no wonder you play on your own without or with single player games only, I assume, because probably nobody likes you because you accuse them of being homophobic and transphobic all the time, or you think they are, so they don't want to associate with you. Maybe that's why. Or maybe you're just paranoid about something that doesn't actually happen. Your country is one of the most tolerant countries of LGBTQ people in the world. It probably is the most tolerant. They've had gay marriage for 10 years. They've had, they've had numerous gay rights for even longer than that. Yet, apparently, it's not enough. They're still home. The, the society is still overwhelmingly homophobic. To you. Not to everyone else, but to you. Yeah, uh, good thinking there, yeah. I didn't really know how to engage with everyone else in the game because I felt that it was more 14-year-old boys yelling fag. Well, don't talk to them. Don't talk to him. Find someone else your own age or other gay men. I assume they're gay. It's because they're using... They're 14-year-old kids. What do you expect? Or there could be trolls who are for, who are pretending to be 14 year olds just to get a rise out of you. 
just just you don't have to associate and communicate to people on multiplayer games. You don't. Just or just don't play them at all. Play single player games. There's loads out there. But you're not a gamer, so you wouldn't know these things. Or you're willfully ignorant of them. But there's more willful ignorance coming up. And I'm going it's going to be a sad case of theirs in this horrible video. Previous researchers have documented how homophobic languages and practices render LGBTQ players as unwanted or invisible in game environments, thus contributing to these players' marginalization within the game. Again, what research? You seem to be quoting research that doesn't seem to exist. I'm sorry, in a proper academic di diploma study, you would have the research right there in front of us. You'd be telling us who they are, yet we don't know who they are as far as I'm concerned. You've, you've made this up. You have made this up to confirm your already previous biases already. I mean, where's your evidence that... Because words that have a homophobic context that are being used by by gamers... Bear in mind, you know, some LGBT people are using those words too, right? It's not just straight people. How is that excluding people from a game environment and from the games themselves? That's just stupid. You don't have to listen to these people. You can mute them. You or no, don't play the games at all. This is this is just just bullshit. You're talking right now. Bullshit. You're not a gamer. If you're a gamer, you would know so much more than this. You would not be coming at this from such a biased perspective. Surely you would be. See Where's the other argument? So far, people, as I predicted, know the side of the argument. Just his own bias and his friends talking about how much they hate gamers and how they think it's prejudiced. So when you have transphobia in gaming, I find more often than not it's it's issues in the design of the game. What transphobia? What design of the game? You seem to be implying that all games are transphobic because they're designed in a particular way. How? Why? Explain that. Again, you have no evidence for this. All you people see is prejudiced. Prejudice everywhere. That's all you ever see. That's all you see is transphobia and homophobia. Where there is none. But that's what happens with people like you. It's everywhere. Therefore it is. Because you think it's there. Because th you have such a wide birth of what it should be. That it's everywhere. When you're wrong. You're not giving us any shred of proof that they are. I've not played a, a game that's transphobic. And I, doubt, I know damn well that you haven't. Because you're not a gamer. You don't play games. Some gay people play as female characters because there's nothing to represent them, so they go for the outsider. In video games, the outsider is usually women, so they choose a female character because it's the only thing that they feel that will represent themselves. I'm Nathan Thompson, and for my doctoral project, I will be collecting three different sets of data. One, I will be interviewing game developers and those that produce video games in order to ask them questions around the inclusion of LGBTQ content. Two. I will be interviewing LGBTQ gamers in New Brunswick and asking them questions about their own processes and practices of gaming. And three, I will be doing a discursive analysis on some of the games played by my LGBTQ participants. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will make this a highly researched document. I didn't see any interviews there with developers. All I saw was you, three of your buddies talk about how much they hate games and gamers and how homophobic and transphobic we are to them. You know, without any evidence, you know, just 14 year old boys saying words that I don't like. Well, don't listen to him. All this has done is prove your confirmation bias. You've not shown me any LGBT people who are not thinking the way the, those people think. You know, ones who are actually gamers and, and think, you know what? Gaming has done nothing to me in a wrong way. In fact, it's helped my life. All these people have somehow been negatively affected by gaming when really they haven't. They've been affected by themselves. You are the reason why the world is the way it is. You are the reason why the indie development scene is going to collapse. Because of smug assholes like you who are not gamers flooding the community, infesting it like parasites and destroying it from within, corrupting it like a virus. And you try and control the way people think and how they feel and what they should say. Stifling creative freedom, destroying ethics and morals. This is not because you're gay or straight or whatever. It's because you're social justice warriors. All right, that's why you do it. Politics, 
You are not interested in these people. You're only interested in your agenda and your diploma. That's all you're interested in. It just doesn't exist. Like, there, there's nothing for us in that way. You have things, beautiful art related things made by us or by our allies that are very intimate, but you don't see the normalization of it. What are you talking about? Just go on a quick Google search and a quick Steam search and you will find games exactly for you. Case in point, there is a curator on Steam who does nothing but Suri games. Yuri games, I mean. Yuri games, which are lesbian uh, fiction from Japan, anime games. But you're not a gamer, so you wouldn't know about them. And how dare you call people who are straight like me and they an ally? As if we make, as if there's every, everything's for us, and that we're normal and you're not normal. Look, gaming is a multi-billion dollar industry, and they have to. I'm sorry, but this is the way that market economics works. They have to appeal to the biggest audience, and the biggest audience is straight people. I'm sorry, I won't get to that in a minute because your gay friend talks talks about that in a minute. There are games for you. There are trans games made explicitly for you. Or you can go out and make your own game. If you're not satisfied that there's nothing in the market, create it. Put it out there. Let people buy it. A quick Google search will help find all the things you need. Yes, I mean, to be fair, those games, they're not even, they're not even meant for pe straight people. They're meant for everyone. They're not just meant for a particular group of people. I mean, what the fuck? God, are you willfully ignorant or just Blind, or stupid, or both. There's gay characters, and there's gay culture, and it is the norm, but in video games, it's still stuck in the 90s, kind of, where it's just predominantly straight characters, and people don't even think of gay video games. Just before, it was not the norm. It's not considered as normal. Now it is normal, yet we're stuck in the 90s, just because, lo and behold, most people who make games are straight, therefore they make games with straight with more straight characters that appeal more to straight people. There's a problem. We're stuck in the nineties. We have a nineties mentality. So the nineties was this most prejudiced time in the world, right? You know, that the nineties, right? Did you not know what you just said there? Again, you are willfully ignorant. I think you are willfully ignorant. Apparently there's nothing out there for you. There are no games with gay people that there are games entirely made for you. Just Google search them. You will find them within five bloody seconds. You you know what? You you will fully ignorant, you guys. Uh, well, you you both. I just you're both really ig willfully ignorant, and you have no clue what's out there because you're not gamers. You have no idea of how the industry works, how the community works, how uh, how the game developers can make small games for you or big games for you. Bioware. Indie developers, they're all there, they're all, they all have a niche market and a wide market. I'm, so, I'm sorry that you don't understand how the world works. I'm sorry, but you are a fringe group. I am part of a fringe group. I can't go as a member of 2% of the population of England, or well, United Kingdom, really. I can't go and then say to all the people in Britain that I want this, because you're not catering to me as a mixed race person. You can't go out there and say, we, as part of the LGBT community, cannot stand this. We want things that cater to us. We want AAA games. I'm sorry, but you can't dictate to people what they can and cannot buy, what they can and cannot create. That's fascism. My hope is that this research will lead to a better understanding of how gaming practices impact the lives of LGBTQ people. This is not research. The only thing this will do is drive more people away from the gaming community and from jobs in the gaming industry because when people are worried about marginalised groups of whatever minorities for not entering more STEM fields, do you know why? It's because of your fear mongering. You, you trying to paint us all as prejudiced assholes, you know, driving people away, you know, destroying people's lives, stopping people from feeling included because we're straight. It's not, you know, we're we're transphobic and homophobic because we're straight. It's not because we say things, and when we do say things, even though it's not in that context, we still are. Amazing. That is brilliant. University level research and argumentation there, sir. I'd love to see what you get. You see, I got, and I'm not trying to do a Ryan Wiley here, okay, guys. All right, but I got a two one 
in my university degree, okay? You know why I got a 2-1? Because I could accurately and, uh, and, and precisely argue my points. I can... I do it with, I try to do it without much bias, I do put my personal opinion in there because you have to debate a certain way, you have to say, come from this angle and say, okay, here's a question, say, well, um, the causes of World War One. I, I might think, for example, that it's the Germans who caused it entirely, so I have to get my evidence, but I also have to get the other side of the argument's evidence, I have to say, my evidence is better, my interpretation is better, because this evidence and their evidence doesn't work because of X, Y, Z, but it does work in X, Y, Z, but that doesn't help it in any way because of that. You have not. You're just saying we're all homophobic, transphobic, and the impacts of gaming on the LGBT community is entirely negative. You've not got anyone from the other side. I've not seen any developers in, in your little trailer. You've not shown us that. You've just saying you're going to do it, but you might not. And you've not shown us what your research is. You see, that's why I got a 2 on. That's the difference between me and you. I can debate. I can get to. I can. I can debate both sides of the argument and still put my point across. You can't. You have to silence the other part in order to get your voice across and get your opinion across because you're a bigot and you're a social justice warrior. And social justice warriors cannot handle the other side of the debate mainly because the other side is always right, or at least most of the time it's right. We do get some things wrong, but not as much as you. <laughs> and how game developers can produce more inclusive gaming environments. And this is why you should not be trying to get trying to tell game developers how they can and cannot make games and how they can somehow make an environment more inclusive. What environment? How can you make something that is already inclusive more inclusive? It's not inclusive to you by your standards. To everyone else in the world, it's perfectly fine. I mean just now, Jamie Lee Curtis a liberal poster for the Huffington Post, similar to me. I'm liberal, even though I don't like using that term. Because one, I'm not really liberal. I'm more, I don't know, socialist. I'd say I don't know. I'm just I'm more left wing than that. I know that. But she went into a she went to Evo the the uh, fighting tournament and she went in incognito, dressed up as Vega, and absolutely loved it. You know what she said? There's nothing more friendly and inviting than the gamers. I w and I'm not saying that disproves you, I'm just saying that makes you look kind of wrong and kind of caught in a trap, doesn't it now? But anyway, I've had enough of you guys. This is probably the worst video I've ever seen on gaming. This this puts Anita Sarkeesian and Jihad Johnny to shame. I mean, god damn, how did you manage to do it? Incredible. Anyway, this has been Charmy Man 93 Like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later.